a really interesting new feature in SQL Server 2008 that you can use in data warehousing scenarios to capture change data from source databases is known as change data capture. And uh, interestingly, you actually use this feature by enabling it in typically uh, operational or OLTP databases, um, not the data warehouse itself. You, you enable it in the source databases and then your ETL process uses the feature to extract the changes that occurred in those source systems and bring them into staging databases or your data warehouse. So here's an example of this feature in action. So what I'm going to do first is create a, a new empty database. So there's a table in this database called account that I'm going to use to uh, insert some data and then modify the data and illustrate how changes are captured. So this is actually the schema of an, an account table from one of our databases. I'm going to uh, simplify this. Just I'm going to just shrink this up so you won't see every column. Now I'll create it. And now I'll insert just three rows into this table. And here you can see the contents of the rows. So there are for three different accounts, Reliable Energy, University of North Carolina, and University of Rochester. So now that I've shown you this data, I'm going to enable change data capture for this database. There's a, so a change data capture uh, operates with a bunch of built-in stored procedures and also it actually generates some specific stored procedures for the different tables on which you want to capture changes. This statement says to enable change capture on the account table and it's going to support net changes. So if I want to only know the final state of a row at the end of a certain period of time, this will allow me to accommodate that. All right, now that I've got some data into this account table and I've enabled it for change tracking with change data capture, let's do some changes. So I'm going to insert a row and update a row. So now suppose I want to get all changes from this table, just the raw changes, including both the before and after images of updated rows. I can do this select statement. There's a table called cdc.dbo underscore account underscore ct. ct stands for change table. And that table was automatically generated by the change data capture feature when we enabled change tracking, change data capture for account. Let's see what's inside there. So remember I updated the reliable energy row and I modified the account manager so you can see here both versions of the row the both the before and after version so this shows all all states that a row have passed through including the before and after images potentially for multiple updates what if I only want the net changes the final row contents at the end of a period of time even when multiple updates may have occurred. In order to do that I need to do something a little bit different. Um, I need to do some setup where I get what's known as the log sequence number for a, a starting and ending time of interest. I'm not going to explain all of this but um, based on the, uh, the documentation for CDC you can get a more detailed description of this. But what this sequence does is get a log sequence number for um, 
last night at midnight and midnight tonight and then it's going to pull back all changes to the account table in that time period. So you'll see here now we have just the new version of the row for reliable energy even though it was updated. So this, this shows the net changes. And in general, change data capture allows you to cap capture all changes or just the net changes in a certain period of time. <clears throat> and uh, you can also control the retention of changes. So once you've extracted a certain day's changes, for example, you don't need to retain that anymore. And you could purge those changes. Uh, change data capture is actually built using the the log-based replication uh, infrastructure of SQL Server, so it shares something with with the replication. So that summarizes a discussion of change data capture. It's something that you can use in a operational database like an OLTP database to capture descriptions of changes for easy extraction into your data warehouse or, or staging database. And uh, when you compare change data capture with other ways of doing the same thing, it looks really nice because you don't need to change your application in order to extract the net changes. Um, moreover, it tends to be quite efficient. If you look at um, a lot of examples where people are extracting changes from an OLTP system, they'll do some sort of unnatural things like, that may be very expensive. For example, it's common for people to create a nightly snapshot of tables in their OLTP system and then difference those in order to see what has changed during a specific day. And that differencing process involves a very expensive and very complicated join query. And change data capture tends to be quite a bit simpler than that. So um, change data capture is a good thing for your bag of tricks uh, in order to make ETL easier with SQL Server 2008.